And so far, I've gone through all these steps of, of uh, addiction. I started out as a crippling alcoholic, discovered crippling, felt this is where I need to be. <laughs> <laughs> this is my vibe, okay? <laughs> Railing, okay? It just works for me. And then I discovered crippling, and crippling cured me on my car problem, okay? <laughs> and I used to do a lot of, ton of speed. I hated it. But it's just like I had a sex addiction, so it's like, it's like speeding and pulling together is like peanut butter and jelly, right? You just be on these fucking roads. I know you guys don't know what I'm talking about, but just bear with me here. So you go on this run, and you'd be like setting high scores on porn hub, right? You'd be on like six hours into a porn run, and you like realize you're really in bad places when you're commenting on the cinematography in the comment section. You're like, wow, this director really understands lighting, you know what I'm saying? He really understood how to shoot this scene, okay? God, he did the angles perfectly. Good job, Dr. D, okay? And, and like, dude, the worst thing is when you're on a run and you're just at your lowest point. Suddenly you hear the birds from the morning and they're just judging the f*** out of you. are like, goodbye, you fucking tweaker! Right? Stop writing comments on Pornhub, right? Just judge me while I'm on a run. Suddenly my phone rings. It's my friend Paul Hughes. He's like, bro, where are you? I'm like, what? He goes, dude, I booked you for this event. I'm like, what event is it? It's like, dude, it's an LAPD keep kids off drugs campaign, right? And I'm like, oh, fuck. And now I'm torn, right? Because I'm on drugs, right? But this event is for the LAPD, and I don't know if you know this, but if you do charity events for law enforcement, though they appreciate and they give you a card. They give you a sheriff's card. Has anyone ever gotten a sheriff card? This is where you get a card where if you get in trouble, you just hand them the card and you get out of trouble. Have you had this thing? It's like having big tits. It's like the best thing ever. You're like, hey, look at my tits. Bang, right? So I show up, dude, and it's an LAPD, keep kids off drugs campaign, and I'm tweaking my balls off. And I'm going to tell you something, I f crushed, okay? I crushed. So I'm like, this is not good. This is not on message right now, okay? Hey, kids, don't do drugs unless you really want to crush in front of cops, right? So, <laughs> so it's funny. So I show up. They're like, hey, thanks for doing it. I'm like, hey, man, thanks for doing it, dude. I'm, oh, I'm having a great time. Thank you. Thanks for asking me. They're like, hey, have, would you like a car? I go, is that a sheriff's car? He goes, yeah. If you're in trouble, snatch, right? <laughs> Bang, I put it away. <laughs> I go and do my set, I crush. I crush, kind of like I did tonight. Crush. <laughs> Children are like, you inspire me. I'm like, you're welcome, kind of my teeth, right? The whole time. <laughs> you see, we're taking pictures with the sheriff's on like. <laughs> Why? So serious, right? So, so I'm taking pictures, and all of a sudden, this cop starts staring at me. He goes, what the f? He goes, hey, come here. I go, what? He goes, come here. He goes, are you on f***ing drugs right now? And I go, oh, f So I reach in, I pull out the car, I f***ing hand it to him. He took off, bro. I'm like, I'm out, dog. <laughs> That's a true story. <laughs>